Hello and welcome. In this video I am going to demonstrate how easy it is to take a clipart um, JPEG logo and convert it into the necessary drawing so we can cut it out on a CNC plasma burn table. Here's our logo. Um, as you can see the uh, um, it's a very colorful logo but the program won't have any problem with it. Let's go to our CAD. What we'll do is file Vectorize. We're going to pick our image. And then what we do is basically tell how many colors that we want it to use to the spackle level. And the spackle level just basically tells it how closely to follow the picture, pixels of the picture. Vectorize it. Looks good and I can hit OK and it's going to open it up in the uh, the CAT system. Next let's uh, draw a oval so we can cut this out and then I, I can move the oval so it's centered, armadillo centered in the oval. Now what we can do is um, right click this um, oval and I can spline fit it so it smooths it out. Um, also, I wanted to right click layer. This way, so the program knows that it's one complete part. So that's our that's how easy it is. Took a logo, put it in a part. But let's say I want to, um, you know, cut a whole sheet of these out, and this needs to be 12 by 6 inches tall. So what I do first is select it use my scale function and basically tell it that it needs to be 12 by 6. Hit OK and as you can see it, it shrunk it down. Now let's draw a rectangle that's in reference to our 4 by 8 sheet. This way we can array it so that the, uh, the sign is covered with the uh, um, or the sheet is covered with the signs. So I select it, use my array function, tell it where to start the array at, which is zero, 0, And then I tell it how many rows and columns. I usually overdo it to, and then I can just delete the overlap and hit OK. And as you can see, it uh, um, copies them out. Then I could just select the ones I don't need and delete them. And then after that, I just delete the uh, reference rectangle, and this is ready to go to the next step. So I'll follow export a DXF, and I name it. to my CAM program where I simply file and import the drawing then I basically take my uh, operation here in an outside offset tell it uh, what layer to use what tool to use, which I'm going to use as a 10 gauge, brings in the feed rate automatically. I want it lead ins and lead outs, and I hit OK. As you can see, it puts all the start points and shows you the tool path of what it's going to cut. So here's your lead in, lead out, and it shows you the direction, and this is ready to go. Um, this CAM program is set up for a 5x10 table, so a 4x8 sheet will fit on the table just fine. And then I basically post process it, which puts it in the code necessary for the, the program to run the table. Next, I basically come to the um, burn tables uh, control software, turn on my control box, and then zero out the machine on the bottom left corner of the material, and then I load my G code.
here it shows the uh, the array of parts and all I have to do now is cycle start and it goes off and starts cutting the, uh, the parts out so it's that simple so in less than five minutes I'm cutting a full sheet of uh, um, armadillos out um, to give to uh, the customer that requested them thank you for watching the video and uh, um, please uh, keep us in mind if you're looking for a CNC plasma table